Hi y'all. So today I just kind of wanted to talk about and elaborate on what I mean by what I say that I always play solo. As I've said in a lot of my videos now, whether it's con interviews or like certain discussions like the Max video, I talk a lot about how I am predominantly a solo player and I've gotten a few comments now asking why? Why am I a solo player? Why do I don't- why do I not play for outfits or play for any kind of community, squads, whatever? in Planicide, despite it being largely an outfit and squad-based game. So I just kind of want to talk about that. We're playing a little bit of off-hours Connery in the meantime because I don't just want to... I don't just want to sit in the... Uh, I just don't want to sit in the sanctuary and talk aimlessly. So I largely play solo at the end of the day because it gives me a lot more control. That's honestly the biggest secret of it. I don't like being bound to a squad or an outfit. With an outfit, I usually find that I have to get on for, say, Ops Nights or whatever, and that's just not fun, because I don't want to be dictated on when I have to play Planicide. It's just it's just not enjoyable to me in any real way. And copy that with the fact that I'm not traditionally very good at maintaining good relationships in outfits for very long. I tend to slowly... I'm very vocal about my opinions on things, and slowly that kind of drives a split, if it makes sense. As you can probably tell from some videos that I tend to be very, very vocal about my opinion. And that's caused a few bad relations to form in more ways than one. So that's part of it. As for why I just don't play squads in general, it's just not fun to me. I, it largely comes down to outfits as well. I just don't enjoy having my play dictated by a platoon leader that more often than not doesn't know what they're doing and is just simply playing for territory. Because I don't play the game for territory. At the end of the day, like I said, I play the game for good fights and to grind directives. I don't want to go drop, be with a platoon standing on some stupid pace solo cap or ghost capping it because it's just not fun gameplay. I'm not enjoying a good fight if I'm just sitting on a base waiting for it to flip for territory when territory doesn't matter in this game. So when I am in a squad, in the rare moments that I am in a squad, I will usually run far away and be doing my own thing. So I just end up getting kicked from the squad because I'm off doing my own thing, enjoying my own good fights. <laughs> so it's just kind of pointless for me to play in a squad anyway. Like, on some videos, you'll see that I am in a squad, but that's usually just with my friends, Cinder and Dark Force, who are two of my longtime friends who also play the game. Cinder does thumbnails, and Dark is actually one of my people that I, you know, regularly talk with on weapon reviews and such. Not on weapon reviews, but like, for his, his opinions on weapons, he grinds a lot of weapons himself. And those are really the only people I'll squad with. I'll squad with my viewers from time to time, and I'd like to squad with viewers more often. But I don't play st strategic squads by any means. It's just not something I enjoy doing for the reasons I've been talking about. It's just, I don't know, I'd rather not be held down. Chained, if you will. I don't, I don't know how to phrase it. Because it, it, it's probably an odd thing to say from someone who has mostly been playing Planicide that I don't play with people. Couple that, so, I don't like outfits because I just don't, I can't stay in communities for very long for varying reasons. Either I just don't get along with people, I slowly our heads against get this. against people, we concentrate on another issue? or mental health issues cause me to leave the group as a punishment to myself, because that does happen time to time. I've lost more than a few connections that way, too. That's just the way I am. Ah, it would have been nice to pocket that kill. Unfortunate, unfortunate. So, that has led me to play NSO, because I've been playing NSO really since early 2020. Uh, I've always been a freelance NSO player. While I do lead an NSO outfit, which has now been NC, it's um, Task Force 404. It, it started as an NSO meme fit with me and my friends. Eventually it ended up growing into a... It hit, I believe we were the second largest outfit on Connery for NSO outfits for a little while, and then once the uh, NS overall happened, we have basically slowly fallen off, now we're aligned hand C, but I still continue to freelance. Hell, I pay for membership and I still continue to freelance, because, like I've said every single time, at the end of the day, I'm here to play here for good fights. I don't care what faction I'm playing alongside, because I'm playing NSO. Not to mention, as NSO, I can just leave. Like, as NSO, while you're freelancing, if a, if a different faction becomes low population, you can run to Sanctuary and then just run back. <laughs> and then you have new fights. 
It's, it's, it's more fun me. that way. I just enjoy fights. I don't want to be tied down into a squad having to go somewhere because the squad leader says so. I can just do what I want to do. I can play the game how I want to. Sure, at least the problems where I simply cannot fight against certain things because I don't have enough players to do so. Obviously, I can't really base cap on my own. I'm very reliant on other players to create fights, and then I enjoy those fights. I can't really create a fight by myself because I'm a solo player. I will explain that in due But that's just because of the way Please I play the game. My question first. That's just the way I play the game. <laughs> this happened a lot with the Max video. This is more of just a discussion video at this point while I play. Where some people said that a lot of my problems with Maxes could be because I don't play in a group. I can't group up with players with, say, archers to knock a Max down. And while that might be fair, that doesn't change my perspective of the game as a solo player. I understand it may affect things, but at the end of the day, I still play the game solo. And I think the experience of a solo player is still one worth keeping in mind when it comes to game discussion. Because not everyone plays outfits, you know? Not everyone wants to play squads. Some people are just like me, who play NSO, or who just play alone, because they just want to play for enjoyable fights, or play for whatever. I'm probably repeating myself quite a bit here, I'm just kind of playing the game, as you do. It's just kind of something I wanted to address. Uh, I'm not sure if there's really anything I, I really else want to talk about. I'll probably play out this Crossroads fight, and just continue speaking about whatever's on my mind about solo play. I've gotten, I've gotten some like suggestions about fits to play with, or people saying, "Oh, you can play with me anytime you want." But it just still, at the end of the day, it just comes down to I don't like being chained or feeling like I have to play the game or feeling like I have to go to a specific fight or or or. You get the idea, right? Sure, it may be lonely playing solo, but usually I just hit the tunes and I just grind away, play the game. There's a big vibe in just grinding with some good music on at a decent fight, just enjoying the game for what it is. And sure, I may have a lot of problems with the game, but at the end of the day, it's a lot of how I keep myself sane playing the game. Plan aside, has been my coping mechanism for the better part of six years at this point. And it's just easiest to do that by myself, listening to tunes. I mean... It's hard to pay attention to what a squad leader's saying if I am listening to tunes. Like, I, I I, don't want to say that, like, I've never played in squads. I've run with a few outfits. In fact, I've put some time into quite a few outfits. I've played with a lot of the Vanu Connery outfits. I've played with some of the NC outfits. I've even played with a handful of TR ones. But I've just never felt found one that I felt like I could truly stay in. Or one that truly meshed with my own playstyle of just going to whatever fight. You know, if a fight's bad, I will just leave. I will just move. Because if I'm not enjoying the fight, why would I bother staying? Ah, uh, there might be a player there. Yes, there's one there, though. So, that's just my opinion. Uh, it's probably not a very popular one, but it's just something I wanted to address. And I have the time to do it in between classes, so I may as well. Wait, you get back over here. Thank you. Looks like the crown fight's dead, or uh, crossroads fight's dead, which is a shame, but it is what it is. It's probably a good place to call it anyway. It doesn't look like there's really anything else going on in the continent right now. If you're still here, if you've listened to the whole thing, uh, thank you. Uh, I'll be putting another video out tonight when it's prime time, talking about how to find a good fight and what I consider a good fight. Obviously, I can't really do that in off hours, but that'll come later tonight uh, during prime time when I get the chance to do it. And like I said, um, thank you if you're still here listening. Uh, if you have any of your own thoughts or even questions about why I choose to play solo for whatever reason, feel free. Um, and yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you for putting up with my bullshit. <laughs> it's, it's always appreciated. Not a, not a lot of people do. So thank you all, and I will see you all later. Bye.